Unraveling the meaning of Blue Line, a deep dive. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English language learning channel. Today, we have an interesting topic to discuss, the phrase, Blue Line. This might sound simple, but it has various meanings and uses in different contexts. Stay tuned as we explore the different aspects of this phrase to help you understand and use it confidently in your conversations and writing. The phrase, blue line, is commonly used to refer to a boundary or a limit. It represents a line that shouldn't be crossed, figuratively speaking. For example, in a discussion or argument, if someone says, that's the blue line for me, they mean that is their limit, and they won't tolerate anything beyond that point. 2.1 in sports. In ice hockey, the blue line is a crucial part of the game. The rink is divided by two blue lines, creating three zones. Understanding the blue line in this context is essential for both players and fans to comprehend the game's rules and strategies. 2.2 in transportation. In many cities, subway or metro lines are color-coded, and there might be a blue line on the transit map. If you are giving directions or talking about commuting, you might say, take the blue line to get to the downtown area. 2.3 in law enforcement. The thin blue line is a phrase and symbol used by law enforcement. The blue line here represents the police, standing between society's order and chaos. It's important to be aware of this phrase, especially when discussing topics related to law enforcement or social issues. Now that we have understood the different contexts in which blue line can be used, let's look at some example sentences. When it comes to defending my family, that's the blue line for me. I will do everything in my power. If you're new to the city, you can take the blue line from the airport to reach the city center easily. The hockey player made a fantastic move at the blue line, tricking the opponents and scoring a goal. And that's a wrap on today's topic, blue line. We hope this video has provided you with a clearer understanding of this phrase and the various contexts in which it can be used. Remember, the key is to pay attention to the context to grasp the meaning fully. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video. Happy learning, and keep practicing your English!